are going to implement the Kalman filter for the moving target. So target is moving along the x-axis with the velocity of 20 meter per second and the starting position of target is 10 meter along the x-axis with sampling time t equal to 0.01 second. The total observation time is 5 second and measurement nice have 0 mean and 1.2 of standard deviation. Okay, so first of all we will declare some variables. Then we will implement the prediction part of the Kalman filter and then the estimation part of the Kalman filter. We will run the prediction part and the estimation part multiple times. For example, up to 100 runs, 1000 runs. And then we will average all the results to eliminate the uncertainty which is also called the Monte Carlo runs. After that we will find the root mean square error and then plot the results. Okay. Here is the target position um, and the measured position and the estimated position. The target position are shown in the red color while the measured position is shown in the green color and the estimated position are presented in the Okay. So we can see that the measured position has been estimated efficiently and are near to the target position. So the second graph here is the target velocity and the estimated velocity. Okay, and the third graph is for the root mean square error in the position and root mean square error in the velocity. We can see that initially the root mean square error was maximum and with respect to time it minimized up to 0.2 second and 0 0.2 uh, meter approximately. Obviously, the root mean square error of velocity has been minimized 